we take the log base 4, 21, set it equal to x, rewrite it as a exponential for me, Shelby. Um, 4x equals 21. 4 to the x equals 21, yes. Can't break 21 down into 4, so that would be 4 to the something, and 4 to the something else can be in between. 21 can be in between. What two numbers is it going to be in between? Anybody? Two and three. Two and three, yeah. Because 4 squared is 16, and 4 cubed is 64. So it's between 2 and 3. Okay, so for the actual one, Jenna is going to be log of what over log of what? Which one? Which one? Okay, <laughs> that's what I was asking. I was like, yeah, I'm not sure if you caught up here or not. It's the big number over the smaller. Now, by big, I mean the actual size of it, not the value of it. Okay, so it's the log of 21 over log. And you just type it into your calculator. And you get 2.11. Very good. And notice that's between 2 and 3. OK, the next one, set it equal to x. Rewrite it as an exponential, Cameron. It was 3 to the x equals 1. Yep. So x is between what and what? 1 because 3 to the 4th is 81, and 3 to the 5th is 81. So it's between 4 and 5. Zella, it's actually log of what over the log of what? Log of 1 to 5 over 1. Very good. Which is? Notice between four and five. All right. So what we're doing on the right there is called the change of base formula. And it is just log of, well, that's what it's saying right there, the log of A over the log of the little number at the base. And so if you are good with the letters and the letters help you, it may help you to remember base is on the bottom, the B, base, because it's at the base. So, maybe not, but I tried. Okay, now we're going to talk about the natural base. Now, have y'all, or do you remember, talking about the number E? Yeah, remember doing PERT? No? Yeah, some of you yes, some of you no. That's okay. It's a, it's a formula that we use to figure out interest. Uh, compounded interest, if it's compounded continuously, you had to use, we call it PERT. And E is a number. If you look at your calculator, um, there is a little E over here on the division symbol. See, there's an E there that's just an E by itself. You hit second E, enter, and it gives you 2.718281. It is an irrational number like pi. It's one of those numbers that keeps going forever and ever. And it was one that was kind of discovered in the use of money issues. It kept showing up, kind of like pi. That's how they came up with pi. Anytime they would have some kind of circular object and they'd be doing measurements, this number 3.1415 blah, 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 kept showing up. And so the same thing is happens with E. So we're going to come up with it on our own. And then go from there. 
So to come up with it on our own, we look at, let me get there, there we go. This expression, one plus one over n to the n. And so in your calculator, under y equals, we are going to type in 1 plus 1 divided by x, I think it was this term, the divide, to the x. And if it opens parentheses around the x, you can close the parentheses around the x, that's fine. So if there's something else in there, clear it out and type in 1, well, parentheses, 1 plus 1 divided by x. The x button's right next to the green alpha button, raised to the x. And then hit second, and right next to it is mode, which is the quit button. So if you hit the blue second button, and then mode right next to it, it'll take you out of there after you're done with that. Okay. Okay, so now notice over here by your arrow buttons, there's a VARS button. That stands for variables. So if we click this VARS button, it comes up windows, statistics, table, they're all across the top. They don't look exactly like mine, but we want to go to um, Y bars. See across the top there, you can cursor over to Y bars. Everybody with me? Everybody not? Okay. Then number one function, you can either hit number one. Yours doesn't look like that, does it? Okay. I'm not going to use that because it's not looking like it's the right one. Okay, so when you get to Y bars and you hit that, you should hit number one for Y1. And it looks like this. And then it's got like a flashing cursor beside it. Okay. Now, what I'm going to show you so that we don't have to keep typing this in. Next, you're going to put parentheses and this number, number one. And what it's going to do is it's going to take this one and plug it into the equation for you. So you do parentheses one, close the parentheses, and hit enter. What did you get? Two. Two. That's right. Okay. Get out of there just so I can get clear. There we go. And I bet you that goes in the lobby for us. So we get one plus one divided by one. No, no, no. Get out of there. And then we do. Anybody not get the two? Now, 
If you hit second enter, that Y1 will show up again. And now we're going to type in 10 and close the parentheses and hit enter. Three decimals. Oh, I didn't put the two in that one. So every time we're hitting second and the enter button, and it shows what we just typed, and now we're just going to add a zero, and we're going to keep going until we get to 10 million down here. I'm going to fill in a couple of these, and then if you're having troubles, I'll come help you. Oh my gosh. And we shall finish that tomorrow.